Stay tuned for the biggest fish, the hottest bites, this week here on In-Depth Outdoors. With James Holst and Pat McSherry and the rest of the IDO fishing team. We're headed to the best fisheries across the upper Midwest and Canada. We'll fish longer, explore unfished bodies of water, and go further off the beaten path in search of the hottest bites in fresh water. Look at that fish. <laughs> this is In-Depth Outdoors. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of In-Depth Outdoors. I'm James Holst, and we're back here on Bally Sports, bringing you the kickoff episode of our 16th season of broadcast. Now, for viewers that are tuning into our show for the first time, you can find us here on Bally Sports every Sunday at 8 a.m. for the next 26 weeks. We'll be bringing you fresh content. All of our shows are filmed and aired in the same week. So if you're looking for information regarding current conditions and that next hot bite, this is where you're gonna find it. So on today's show, we're caught right in the middle of ice fishing and still you know, dealing with some open water. And that means here at In-Depth Outdoors, Pat McSherry, somewhere out there on the water chasing a good musky bite. Uh, so we're headed to Lake of the Woods today. It's Pat McSherry fishing with Joe Cooper and they've got a really good show for you. Uh, it's musky fishing, but instead of trolling or casting, they're gonna be vertical jigging and putting to use some new technology from Hummingbird, that mega live system that everybody's been waiting for. Wait till you see how interactive it is when there's a big musky chasing down a bait when it's being vertical jig. So stick around, I think you're gonna love today's show. Pat McSherry, Joe Cooper, up on Lake of the Woods. All right, we're just getting going for the day. Uh, if you watched the episode a few years ago, I came up here and fished with Joe, and we had just a heck of a day jigging for muskies. It was my first time jigging. So here it is two years later, came back up to fish with Joe, and we got Mega Live, which should make the jigging a lot more fun and a lot more interactive. And so we'll start out the day doing some jigging. It's a little bit earlier conditions than it was a few years ago. We got water temps around 50, but there should be some fish jigging. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I don't know, the, uh, I've caught quite a few jigging already this season, and uh, the bite with this little warm up we had, and bite kind of slowed down a bit, but uh, they're still there, still getting some good action. So mm -hmm. the Mega Live is gonna be deadly, and uh, we got a big, big front coming in here, so hopefully it flips their switch. Right on. Ooh. I think it's about to go down. Mm -hmm. Perfect wind coming through here. There you go. Little walleye white tail. You know what I'm going to be sore from today? Grabbing the net for Pat. That's what I'm. I didn't tell him last time that the back of the boat catches all the fish. Oh, I shouldn't have let him in on that one. But. <laughs> It's all right, you know, sometimes you gotta share, share a couple fish. All right, so here's a great instance of why this live sonar, Mega Live, works so well. And if you're using 2D sonar right now, your cone would be hitting this shallow section right here, and that's all you'd be seeing. You wouldn't be seeing any of this. And you can see Joe's right here. With a fish under me. With a fish under him, chasing him around on top of that ledge. Look at that. He is on you, isn't he? Oh, well, uh, for yeah. sure a musky. I'm gonna figure eight him. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, this is a perfect example of how the live sonar will help you see through the structure that 2D sonar will never even let you get a chance to look at. See now, if I drop straight down where I'm at, you can see me going down and I can be fishing an area that's completely below it. So you can see my tube dropping down on the base of that ledge, and you would never see that on 2D sonar. There's nothing that will show you these drop-offs like live sonar can show it to you. 2D sonar, side imaging, 
down imaging, it doesn't matter what it is, the live sonar will show you that drop off clearly from top to bottom and you can see your bait or fish sitting on the drop off the entire water column, you know, from the from the shallowest part to the deepest part. Exactly. From panfish to predators, nobody does ice fishing like BMC. BMC has created an unrivaled arsenal of weapons for the savvy panfish angler to deploy. It doesn't matter if you're fishing fast or forced to go ultra finesse. BMC has a bite-sized offering sure to entice the most wary panfish. Searching for big fish with teeth? From flutter to rattlespoons, BMC has the most attractive UV finishes and natural bait fish patterns that big walleyes can't resist. Only from BMC. From the first time you pick up a tuned up custom rod, you'll know you're holding something special. A rod not mass produced, but built one at a time by the hands of gifted craftsmen. Rods like the Precision, ice fishing's most versatile multi-species rod, or the Precision Noodle with a tip so sensitive you'll never fish a spring bobber again. And the Commander, the rod that's never met a big fish it couldn't best. Tuned up custom rods, ice rods handcrafted for you and the way you fish. Reed's Family Outdoor Outfitters in Walker, Minnesota has the hottest products for ice fishing at unbeatable prices. Everything from ice electronics, ice shelters, and ice clothing from all the top brands. And the newest lithium-powered augers with special everyday pricing on the Garmin LiveScope Ice Bundle. Whether you're visiting us in Walker, Minnesota, or placing an order online at reedsports.com, our state-of-the-art distribution center ensures you'll get your order fast. Reed's Family Outdoor Outfitters offers the best service, best price, best advice, guaranteed. Okuma Fishing Tackle offers a complete lineup of reels for the die-hard ice angler. The Okuma Samar 10 and Inspira 20 are a perfect match with your favorite panfish or walleye ice fishing rod. Both feature a long stem handle that fits comfortably in a gloved hand. Cyclonic flow rotor technology that throws water off the reel to minimize ice buildup. And a drag system optimized for use in extreme conditions. Everywhere, every day, every fish. Okuma Fishing Tackle is inspired fishing. Oh, here, com here comes a muskie. Here comes There's a muskie. That's a ski. That's a ski. Or is that okay, a big white fish? It's two pieces of bait. This is the, we were like, what kind of bait is that? We put it down, and it's just all white tail walleye tubes. <laughs> fish hooked up. Yeah, baby. <clears throat> I'm bringing them around this side. Bringing them around the back? Yep. All right. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Hey, that's the one we wanted, man. It just came out of nowhere and crushed it. Let's get the day started. Yeah! yeah. Hey, right on. Nice. Yes. Oh, yes. That's a perfect starter right there. Heck yeah, man. Right on. I'm looking for the pliers. That was the sickest bite ever. I mean, it was just a complete cut chunk. The, um, yeah. The uh, Mega Live, it came in so fast, it barely even got the chance to see the fish come in. <laughs> I was staring right at it, and I literally felt the bite before I, before I even uh, saw anything on the graph. But yeah, that that was awesome. And we just had that huge school of bait move through, and I was just looking for their babysitter. Not a not a big guy, but I'm gonna go ahead and hit spot lock. Yeah, quick. that's fine. Oof. You got him? Oh, it's not bad. He was a hungry little fella. There we go. Came out easy. Nice. Look at the belly on him. Nice little 40 incher to start the day. Yeah, that's my future right there. <laughs> but hey. That's what. That's exactly what we wanted. A fish that just came rocketing up, didn't even give us a chance to see it on the graph. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a done deal. You gotta love that. Start to the day. Let's get another one. All right, we'll get Sweet. her back. Here you go. Whoa. Yeah, she'll take right back down. She goes. Sweet. Man, did she launch it. That's fun. You know, last. It's been two years now since we've been able to come back up and experience this and. I've been looking forward to it every day. Well, it'll be tough to beat last year's numbers, but Man, gotta start somewhere. That's right, that's right. And it can, I'm most likely gonna go up from there in size at least, right. most likely. But that, that was a, 
perfect starter right mm -hmm. there and we needed uh an easy one to get us going today i think so but chomped it yeah so here's what we're fishing same kind of thing as last year so far anyways just a yep. 10 inch red october tube with the medium this is the medium weight one and then just adding that colorado blade on the end right there that one ate it head first yeah yeah it's it fools them nicely that's for sure that is some crazy structure below the boat it is literally just drops into the abyss right here and it's such an important element to these jigging spots for muskie is the deep water nearby you got to have that deep structure because i think especially because that's where the uh that's where the bait fish that the muskies are looking for this time of year is they're coming out of that deep stuff mm -hmm. there's one just surfaced dude he's still there he's still he's right under it Oh my god. Oh yeah, I see him on there. Oh my god, oh my god. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. Did he chase you at all? He just started to. Oh my gosh, that's a huge whitey dude. How big's the fish? The muskie is yeah. probably like 48 or... Look at the whitey, it's like a 28 incher. <laughs> So we're just about to head to the next spot and we see this fish just just hitting the surface a muskie hitting the surface and we're casting at him and then all of a sudden this white fish floats up a big whitey i was thinking about grabbing it for dinner it's not too beat up and then we're going towards the white fish and the muskie comes up underneath the white fish which is dead on the surface and is like he was like feeling the whitefish with his back or something. I don't know, what was he doing, Pat? I don't know, it was weird. Yeah, he tried, I mean, he looks like he tried to eat yeah. it. Fresh dead. Freshly dead. Oh, no, no. Not dead. We could have that for dinner. Look at the scars <laughs> on him. <laughs> it was he, in his mouth. Yeah, he had it. It's almost, it almost looks like he tried to get it down. But. You can see each side of his jaw right there, one mm -hmm. side and the other side. That's pretty cool. You made a fatal mistake, my friend. Next spot. Next spot, I Next guess. Next spot. Too much bait here. Ice fishing's been put on notice. Strike Master's gonna kick your gas. Meet the lithium 24 volt auger, the 14 pound powerhouse that crushes the performance of standard cordless drills. Lighter weight, more holes per charge, all in a compact design that puts the 24 volt from StrikeMaster in a class by itself. No more gas and oil, no more lugging around your heavy two stroke auger. It's time to make the switch to StrikeMaster. Kick your gas. Randall GM in Aiken, Minnesota's only haggle-free Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC dealer is a proud sponsor of In-Depth Outdoors TV. Our Brandle value price ensures that you don't have to spend your entire day haggling to get a great deal. And every new vehicle comes with our exclusive gimmick-free lifetime powertrain warranty. Whether you're in need of service, sales, parts, or body shop repair, stop by our state-of-the-art facility in Aiken or visit us 24-7 at BrandleGM.com. Does your sonar offer dual spectrum chirp, producing razor sharp images on an ultra bright HD display? The ability to tailor the display to the way you fish. Precision GPS functionality with legendary Lake Master mapping to move effortlessly from ice to open water. If not, you should be fishing an Ice Helix, the electronic system that offers all the features and performance successful ice anglers demand, only from Humminbird. At Eskimo, we have the tools to help you enjoy your time on the ice. They say man needs food, clothing, and shelter. When it comes to shelter, we like the Outbreak 450i with its full-size no-trip door that's nearly 74% bigger than a standard door, making it much easier to load and unload. With 75 square feet of fishable area, you'll be warm and comfortable during your day on the ice. Check out the Outbreak 450i and our full line of products at GetEskimo.com. 
So on average summer day fishing the angle, do you get a fish a day or? I would say throughout the season, um, we get at least one fish most days. And and there is some days where we end up not getting, getting bit, but um, even on the days where we get skunked, you usually had a really good opportunity. And it, with muskies especially, it really depends on your level of experience on, on your success. I'd say um, at least in the northwest angle portion of the lake, I bet over 70% of the muskies we catch throughout the summer are in the figure eight. Yeah. Which is awesome. But for someone who hasn't spent a lot of time muskie fishing, um, it's t uh, the figure eight is tough to to get a get hooked up. Here's one. Oh yeah, he's on you. Yep. Oh. You know how oh, here, here he is. Here we go. Come on. Got him. Yes. Hooked up, baby. Yeah. Oh. 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 It's a good one. Yep, yep. Oh, where we, which way? Let me know where to go. Here, I'll bring her here. Woo. Ho, 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 ho. Sorry, I don't know which way here, to go. Here, I'm going to go this way. Okay. Oh, gosh, I forgot to reel up. And I have the net. Got it. <laughs> oh, we made that oh, one. Look at this. I have one on my jig down there. <laughs> Oh, there's one on me down there. Here, I'll get them. Oh my gosh. We made that look pretty hard. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah, buddy. Oh, that was Nothing awesome. Nothing like chaos. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what's with giant. Oh my gosh. She's off in the net, too. Oh my gosh, Pat. Thank you. Thank you. For catching that fish. So, you know, we've been at it for a little while here. Oh. Vertical jigging these spots. And we've had a few encounters where, uh, I know we marked that fish, what, maybe 10 minutes ago? Yeah, probably and not even. chased me right up to the surface almost. Just could not get her to go. And we just stuck it out and sure as heck, uh, came back and was able to connect. It's not a bad one either. Mid, hey, mid right on. Mid-40 I'll yep. take her. Yep, absolutely. As soon as I netted that fish, I looked down and there was another one on the graph staring at my tube, which was laying down there. <laughs> I thought I had reeled it up to pretty close to the bottom of the boat and... Yeah, we, I'm back in the corner there and we got another camera mount there and the mega live on a pole. So next time I know when I set the hook, I gotta get up here. <laughs> it was a bit of an obstacle course. There's no doubt about that. All right, let's see what we got. Nice one, sweet, fatty. Yeah, she's the healthy one. Nice fish, Pat. All right, there we sweet. go. On the board with a nice one. Man, we've been trying a little bit harder than we had to last time, that's for sure, but. Right, I think we're just a little bit early. You know, the water temps are right around 50 right now. It's right at the cusp of breaking loose, but we got some cold weather coming. I think the next few days are gonna be pretty fun. Nice, yes. All yeah, right. Let's find another one like that, huh? No kidding. All right, let's get her back. She's pooping in the boat already. Yep, all over your rod. Oh, it's good looking stuff too. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how pale she is. Yeah, she's a blonde. Right back down. Yeah, buddy. Heck yeah. Yeah, sweet. Yeah, I figured I figured after last time you better catch catch the the first one this time. <laughs> I'm thinking on my way up here, I'm like, gosh, I better I better up my game. I can't be getting schooled like that again. <laughs> what a circus with the net. <laughs> that was unbelievable. And then I, when I grabbed my rod, I thought that the other one on the graph was going to eat my tube, like, and it was going to be absolute chaos. Well, so we didn't actually get the original encounter on the Mega Live. I think we got it biting my bait, though. Yeah. But there was three different muskies. There's a whole school of them that we saw come up and chase the baits around so there's obviously a few fish on this spot it's a wolf pack and that was what maybe a 44 oh yeah mid 40s yeah, i'd say 44 45 so a lot of times they're so thick that it's it's tough to get a good judgment on the length mm -hmm. was it what was the bite like was she just you dropped I just, down i dropped down i just came onto her yep so I, i'm guessing you know i was just doing these like one and a half foot lifts and i bet you she ate it just kind of halfway down on one of those lifts 
to where it wasn't like full slackle, but just. There's so many times where it just feels like you set your lure on bottom. And when you lift back up, there's weight and it's just, you never really feel any good solid bite. That musky Pat caught defecated all over the boat. And you can see the scales um, of the fish that they're eating. It's, they're probably whitefish or tulipy, pretty good sized scales. You can actually even see when they've been eating some walleyes, you'll see some really small scales, but these fish are eating uh, big bait. There it is right there, there's the evidence. I know that's gross, but it's science or something. <laughs> <laughs> Norsk Lithium offers a complete lineup of lithium-ion batteries to power your ice electronics that provide huge weight savings and the power you need to fish from sun up to sun down. Available in 7.5, 15, and 20 amp hour capacities, Norsk Lithium batteries are perfectly matched to power your mechanical, digital, and live imaging sonar systems, featuring two patent-pending USB ports for powering all of your USB devices and an integrated LED power indicator. Find your perfect battery online at norsklithium.com. Here at StrikeMaster, our goal, our focus, was to create the warmest, most thoughtfully engineered, and safest lineup of outerwear for the ice angler ever produced. StrikeMaster's SOS Stay on Surface flotation technology will be there if you need it, providing up to two hours of flotation when the jacket and bibs are worn as a pair. StrikeMaster, wear the hottest brand on the ice. This winter, Reeds in Walker, Minnesota is celebrating their 50th anniversary by giving the viewers of the In-Depth Outdoors TV show the chance to win the ultimate ice fishing machine. Prize package includes a Polaris Ranger XP1000 with tracks and a flatbed trailer. To enter, visit our website at indepthoutdoors.com and look for the 50th anniversary logo to submit your entry. The winner will be selected May of 2022 and I will personally deliver the Polaris and trailer to the winner. Enter today for your chance to win at indepthoutdoors.com. The Mega Live is just so key for um, the, the, just the way that we're fishing for these fish. It's so important to have live sonar to keep you engaged. You know, we went, um, we went probably four hours today. Even though we hadn't caught a fish um, for four hours, we were both, I mean, I was, I think Pat was too, we were both feeling confident about what we were doing because we can see that they're there even though they're not engaging on our baits and with the 2D sonar you'd never see that. No, it keeps you completely engaged. Yep. Oh, here comes one. He's on the right side. I think he just looked at me. He did just look at me. He's going for you a lot faster. He's all over you, Pat. Trying to headbutt it. Knock him out. Oh, he just got got scared. Something spooked him? Was it me being loud? Might oh, be. he was going for me. Oh, he was. Get him. I'm gonna dead stick him. I feel good about the dead stick for some reason. Come on. Tipping up at you. He's nosing it. Come on, smell that white fish. Got him, you got him, got him. Oh my goodness. Oh, whoa, what? Oh. oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that's a nice one, yeah. <laughs> wow. That was a fight. Did you see my rod? Yeah. He almost pulled me in. <laughs> Woo. This guy was charged up. He's still charged up. Come on, bud. Perfect. All right. Nice little fatty. Fatty. It's like a, it's like a twin to the one I had, isn't yep. it? Yep. Yep. Must be brothers. <laughs> and this is the precise location where we uh, had our first one last time. It is. We are right on the same spot. First one and last one from last time. There we go. Ah. That's a thick one. Mm-hmm. Nice fish. Yeah. 
Yeah, sweet. Wow, it's uh, what, five minutes after you just had the last one? <laughs> we got one of the other ones. There's one left. You think we can get all three? Yeah. <laughs> yep. And hopefully by then we've got a few more coming in. Right on. I'll, um, yeah, he's just going to take right off. He's charged up, so I'll just slap, flop him in right here. Send him out. Thanks, bud. What a fighter. Heck awesome. Yeah. Awesome. You know, we were just talking earlier today about how the bite windows in the fall just seem to be so short lived. It seems like you can fish for four hours without seeing a fish or the ones that you do see are super lazy, super slow. And then all of a sudden something happens. Well, right now we're in the major, but or the minor. Yeah, the moon moon set. I don't know what time it is today, but we are we're within a couple hours of moon set here. And I think it's definitely opened up that window that we needed. Mm -hmm. That's so. two fish in 20 minutes or whatever, 15 yeah. minutes. Yeah. And the other ones that are moving through are they look like they're going to bite. Yeah, so. much more active. Yep. So. All awesome. Right. Awesome. That was a rod bender. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sweet. Good work. Thanks. That was a good net job. A little bit cleaner than mine. Woo. Hey, in the net's in the net. Yeah, that's right. It, uh, you gotta love when they're charged up. So that brings us to the end of today's show. Super cool video today. I hope you enjoyed watching it. And with the temps the way they've been, this bite, it's still a possibility. If you've got the boat out of storage yet, uh, get it trailered up to Lake of the Woods and those muskies are gonna be waiting for you. And what a cool addition the Mega Live is to any angler's arsenal. Uh, to be able to interact with an individual uh, fish like that, to see how it's responding to your cadence, your jigging approach, nothing could be cooler. So I uh, want to send out a huge thanks to Joe Cooper. Uh, Pat and Joe always put on a great show. Uh, they obviously had a great time. If you're looking for somebody to uh, get you out on this cool vertical jigging musky bite, give Joe Cooper a call. So uh, thanks to everybody for tuning in this week. We'll see you next Sunday here on Bally Sports. For more info on the latest fish reports, gear recommendations, and hottest techniques, connect with us online at indepthoutdoors.com or follow us on Facebook at In Depth Outdoors. And if you enjoyed today's show, be sure to let our sponsors know.